There are some words you just don't say. Amen? Amen. And in the church, there's one word you just don't say during Lent. What is that word that we don't say as a church during Lent? Hallelujah. And now that it's Easter, we can say it. We can say what? Hallelujah. We can say it now, people. Lent is over. So the church says that during the 40 days of Lent, we don't say that word. But now that Christ is risen, we can say, Hallelujah. Or, like our non-Catholic brothers and sisters, we can say, Hallelujah. Oh, you're not there yet. <laughs> Deacon Angelita was preaching last night, trying to, trying to rally the crowd, to we're like, come on, we're, we're Catholics here. <laughs> but we have that great word in our Christian and Catholic vocabulary, Hallelujah which we use at Easter as a sign of joy. We don't say that word for 40 days of Lent, and then we pull that word out on Easter, Alleluia, to capture the joy that we feel. And this is the question, what does Alleluia mean? Have you thought about that before? What does Alleluia mean? Alleluia literally means, it comes from a, from a Hebrew word meaning God be praised. You remember that the Hebrew word for God? Yahweh. 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 Ooh, listen to that word. Alleluia. Oh, right. Hallel to praise. Yahweh God. Alleluia. Praise God. So this is the question on Easter. What are we praising God for? The fact that Christ is risen from the dead. In today's gospel, we have that great story of the women going to the tomb, and finally the tomb empty. Wasn't there recently a movie out in theaters that had to do with that event? Oh. And you know what? The event that we celebrate today is not so much about that thing that happened 2,000 years ago. I remember an old priest once preaching. You know, I like to use various visuals. He had a box of tissues for his Easter Sunday homily. And he told the kids, in the same way that I pull these tissues out of the box, that's how Jesus came out of the tomb. You know what? Easter's not just about Jesus coming out of the tomb like tissues out of the box. Follow me? Jesus is about, if Easter is all about Jesus rising in the hearts of his disciples. It's not about whether there are bones that will ever be found in the tomb or not. Archaeologists have not found them yet. We presume because he's risen, they'll never be found. But it's not about that. It's about Christ rising in our hearts. It's about Christ rising in your heart during this Easter season. And that's what we find happening in today's scriptures. Because when Mary Magdalene and Peter and John the disciple run out to the tomb, what do they know? They understand that in their hearts, they understand that Christ is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ is risen from the dead. They understood that. And that's why Peter, that coward that we heard about on Friday, Peter, that coward who denied Christ not once, not twice, but three times, what is he doing in today's God, in today's first reading? In the Acts of the Apostles, now filled with the Spirit and believing in his heart in the risen Christ, he goes out and he begins preaching Christ. That Christ is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Praise be God. Brothers and sisters, it's Easter. Are we going to stay here in this upper room afraid to share what happened with those outside? Or has Christ risen in our hearts just as Christ rose in the hearts of his disciples? Is Christ risen in our hearts such that we might be like Peter and Mary Magdalene and the beloved disciple in today's readings and that we might get out of here and share something about ourselves and our faith with others? That's the Easter message. That's where we get new life, is by spreading the good news that he is risen 
Hallelujah. Praise be God. He's risen in the hearts of his believers. And now it's up to us to follow in the footsteps of Mary Magdalene and the beloved disciple and Peter, he who denied Christ not once, not twice, but three times. It's time for us, filled with the Holy Spirit, to spread that Easter joy and love and peace today and this week and this year and throughout our lives as Christians. He is risen from the dead. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.